Tekka Structures 2021 is out and today I would like to show my top 5 new features or improvements. So let's jump in. This improvement is dedicated especially for shape lovers. The shape catalog has new in UI and with this also new features. For example, we can create a new groups and uh, organize our shapes between our customized groups to get a better overview. Also, we can use the stars or tags to mark out our favorite shapes. So now our shapes will be much, much better organized and uh, easier to manage. This is something that I was already planning to develop myself until I found out that Tekla is coming out something similar. This is my favorite one, Patch Editor. In this example, we have four undetailed columns with the same position number. And next, we have to detail all of them. Let's use some uh, connections between the footing and column, column and beam. Also, let's put the, with the components the reinforcement and do some manual changes. Now we have one detailed column and three undetailed columns that would have different position number if we would do the numbering. But luckily we have Patch Editor to help us out. Let's select the source assemble to take as base. And Tecla automatically finds very similar elements or assembles from the model automatically. We can add or remove manually but uh, everything looks good in this time. So let's copy, copy all the modifications also to the other elements. And you can see miracle has happened. Everything has, done, has been done quite quickly and quite correctly. All the connections, reinforcement from the source element to the very similar other elements. Let's do the numbering and we can see that all columns or cast units have the same position number. This is how we did the shop drawings until now. The small change that we have now is that we can do create these uh, shop drawings also directly from contextual toolbar much easier and faster way of creating them and also we can open these drawings directly from the contextual toolbar but the same drawings are also in drawing manager we select first point and we can choose with what element or object this dimension line or dimension will be connected. Moving up and down, we can see if something is out of the list. Let's change, for example, footing, put the next dimension point, and again we can choose to with what element object it will be connected. Once the dimension is placed, we can easily show dimension as a as activity rules, and again we can change with what elements or objects these dimensions will be connected so if something will change on the drawing side or if we want to clone these uh, views then we say the rules what Tecla should follow. On this drawing we have this embed stable template that we would like to get rid of. So far, I have put these options to show or hide different tables under drawing user-defined attributes. But now we can easily exclude template from layout and then just delete it. Excluding the template and deleting it affects only this drawing. So if we go to the, some another drawing that uses the same layout, we can see that this embed 
table is still there and going back to our previous or original drawing we can see that in this drawing this uh, table is has been uh, taken out or hidden we can always restore our layout quite useful and easy for every user